Hello guys and welcome to a new IK video. Uh, this is Kincaid from 49 and in today's video guys I want to show you my second marsh how's it performing in arena because I get asked a lot about mixed marsh and, and second marshes. So here's the second marsh that I'm using at the moment it's at 305k. Uh, the skills I'm using are uh, well it's pretty simple for a second fire marsh i'm not using any of my main ores since i'm using them on my water so there is no malice weakness or misleading here which i consider to be the main ores or the most important ores when it comes to a second marsh i'm using the main the, the ores that i'm using are shelter berserk and caution and somehow it's doing very good in arena Especially against air marshes, earth marshes, and thunder marshes. So it's balancing out my uh, marshes performance because these are the marshes that I, I'm not able to uh, beat with my water marsh. And I'm gonna show you some reports, but first I would like to talk about the immortals that I'm using. I'm using a basic fire marsh, which is Epo, William, and Empress Wu. And I'm using Gilgamesh. Uh, Gilgamesh is the main damage in this marsh. I know it's not, it, it, it looks like Hippo deals a lot of damage. But Gilgamesh deals a lot of damage in this marsh. And since I'm using Berserk, I'm using also Cleave on uh, Gilgamesh. And I'm using Anger to maximize his damage. Just increases the physical damage by 30%. And I'm using Absolute Defense to protect him. It blocks a lot of damage sometimes and some other times it brokes a lot and I remember there was a fight when it blocked up to 12 million damage so this one is very important to keep Gilga at least safe since he's the main damager on this marsh. I'm using physical shield on my hippo and I'm using fighting well. Uh, this skill helps a lot sustaining if the uh, the immortals are not using any immune uh, skill this one helps a lot because the root effect doesn't allow the immortals to deal a lot uh, normal attacks while they are being rooted and for william i'm using william as a support because uh, I'm, I'm using rage plus and i'm using energy suppression uh, that if you include his buff it increases the crit rate of all the other mortals by 20 percent uh, for empress who i'm using some mage spells like chase and toxinova and i'm using caution to maximize my hippo and gilgamesh damage so these are for the skill for my artifacts I've, i have uh, gilgamesh as artifact let me let me show you the artifacts that i have here uh gilgamesh is artifact i don't want to say it's very good but it's it's quite decent uh, it has physical attack bonus as its main attribute for hippo I have a very good artifact on Hippo, but it's not developed yet. Uh, Empress Wu, I have a very good artifact on Empress Wu, but I need to completely develop it. And um, I ran out of uh, Sun Crystals, so I need to upgrade to Silver soon. William, I'm, I'm using a this on William. It's doing fine, but I don't care really about William. Maybe if I even use the Magical Defense artifact on him, it will be a bit tankier because he doesn't deal damage at all. Uh, for these are for the art, for for the artifact for the performance. I'm gonna show you some battles. You know, guys, that water struggles a lot when he when uh, it is fighting uh, Earth. So this is why if I'm up against someone who is using, uh, for example, here he's using a fire marsh as its second marsh and he's using Earth marsh as his main marsh. So, uh. Obviously, I don't want to fight his earth with my water marsh. This is why I went with my water marsh first to fight his thunder. His thunder is very weak, so he didn't really apply much damage to my uh, water here. However, Genki Scan prevented my water dragon from healing. What happened here? Merlin didn't deal any damage. Attila and Yushi finished the fight. Okay. Uh, for the fire march everyone knows that water is very strong 
against fire so this is why i was able to win here very easily merlin annihilated the fight same as uh, atella and i didn't really deal that much damage for his earth marsh uh basically merlin did like 9 million damage but charles sustained most of this damage and surprisingly my fire marsh were able to beat his earth marsh i know he received quite the damage i mean only 50 50 almost 52k troops survived from this fight however my fire marsh were able to win as you can see galga did a lot of damage here uh, cleave got broke 27 times and it did 2.3 million damage a lot of damage from his normal attack this is mainly because i'm using caution on this marsh so even if he is using misleading i'm not gonna dodge he's not gonna dodge a lot of my attacks even though he dodged a lot of from from uh hippo here but since ranged immortals have a very high uh, accuracy stat they they really get uh, they really miss attacks even if you are against someone who's using misleading so this is one of the fights that I was able to win thanks to my second marsh. For Thunder Marshes it also helps a lot because as you can see I was able to win against this marsh even though he's VIB 15. I know he lacks a, a, a lot in Immortals level. However the marsh itself is very strong since he got uh, Genki's Khan at boost 25 with a very strong artifact here. Well the artifact is not that strong. Let me take a look. Yeah, the artifact, it looks strong, but accuracy uh, stat, I wouldn't really use it for an, for an immortal such as Genki's Khan. And after winning the fight, it still applied lots of damage to his fire marsh. I mean, getting it down to 50k troops made it a lot easier for my water marsh to beat. And this is all thanks to the fire dragon. So the fire dragon's basic damage is at 5.8 million so even if you're out of troops and you're not be able to deal any damage the fire dragon is gonna deal at least 5.8 million damage if the fight lasted for maybe 14 to 20 seconds such as this uh nothing really happens here some guys are pulling me this fight he went with his uh thunder first against my water as you can see i've lost a lot of troops here this is why i lost the fight and this time uh, i got attacked here but i've lost this fight no basically my water almost soloed so this one doesn't really matter for this one here i've went with uh, my water against his water he's using alexander so he deals a lot of damage to my uh, water marsh somehow i was able to win this one easily uh, i've lost against his fire marsh and then my fire marsh went against his fire did a lot of damage from hippo but one had a very little troops this is why i was able to win for the last fight it was a kind of mixed marsh again i was able to win thanks to gilgamesh air dealing a lot of damage so when i first built this marsh guys it was basically because i don't have uh cyrus i'm still collecting cyrus i have around 470 uh shards for him however i didn't unlock the immortal yet so i still need a lot more shards to max him and i didn't also want to use ashoka because everyone ashoka how weak ashoka is his skill is literally useless and he deals so little damage for a ranged immortal. So I decided to use Gilgamesh by a recommendation from a friend of mine and it turns out very good. And I, I, I'm still actually doubting if I want to replace Gilga with uh, an immortal like, uh, what's his name? Cyrus. However, I'm, I'm gonna build Cyrus and I'm gonna test it out. Maybe I'll even uh, move my weakness aura into the fire uh, maybe at some point i'll be using fire as a main marsh instead of water i still have a lot of plans for this marsh so this is this is it for this video guys uh, i'm gonna make more videos about mixed marshes in the future 
stone which which is the most efficient mixed marsh you can use which is the best marsh that you can use for a second marsh so this is it for this video guys hope you enjoyed uh thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful day